Hi everyone, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to determine the colored area that is here the yellow area. We have the length of this line segment to be 12 meters. That of this is 18 meters. This is a radius of the big cycle. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area in yellow? Obviously, from this big cycle, if we subtract the area of the small cycle, we'll have the colored area. So we say area of small cycle equal to U and area of big cycle equal to V. Therefore, colored area will be equal to V minus U. So how can we calculate the area of the small cycle and that of the big cycle? It is very simple. We start by labeling the points A, B, C, D and E. Now this line C is a radius of the big cycle. So therefore, one of its ends must be the center of the big cycle. So this point C is the center of the big cycle. And therefore, this line AC and this line CE are also radii of the big cycle. Assume their lengths to be H each. Okay. Now we see the two cycles touch at this point A. From the cycle theory, there is a rule that when two cycles touch at a point internally or externally, their point of contact lies on the same straight line that connects their centers. This line AE is a straight line segment on which this point of contact and this center of the large cycle lies. So therefore, the center of the small cycle will also lie on it. We locate the center, call it P. This segment and this are radii of the small cycle. Assume their length to be R. The length of line AC is H, but it is divided into this R and this. So H equal to R plus R, which is 2R. Replace this H and this with 2R. Now he draw a chord that will connect this point P and this C. Look at this angle here. It is subtended by the block AC, which is a diameter of the small cycle. And we know that the angle subtended by a diameter of a cycle to its circumference is an angle of a semicircle, which is right. So this angle is a right angle. Now this line AB, we extend it to the circumference of the big cycle, call the point Q, then draw a chord from Q to D. Look at this angle AQD. It is also subtended by this line AD to the circumference of the big cycle. Line AD is a diameter of the large cycle. Therefore, the angle is a right angle. Let's look at this code here. It is perpendicular to this side AQ. Same as for this line BC. It is also perpendicular to the same line. That means they are parallel. Now from this triangle, this line QD is a side of the triangle and we have this line drawn parallel to it, connecting two sides of the triangle. There is the basic proportionality theorem by Thales that when a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, intersecting the two other sides at distinct points, it will divide the two sides in the same proportion that is this line BC will divide this side and this in the same proportion we see it bisect this side therefore it will also bisect this side so this segment and this are congruent 
this have it length to be 12 meters therefore this must also be 12 meters now look at this triangle it is a right angle triangle this side is the hypotenuse so if we use a Pythagorean theorem which states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides the square of 18 must be equal to summation of the squares of this 12 and that of the length of this side say x so 18 squared equal to 12 squared plus x squared 18 squared is 324 12 squared is 144 take 144 to the left 324 minus 144 is 180 so 180 equal to x squared that is x squared equal to 180 keep it aside now to this triangle it is a right angle triangle so we use the Pythagorean theorem on H. This is the hypotenuse. So it will be R plus R plus 2R all squared equal to 12 plus 12 all squared plus X squared. R plus R plus 2R is 4R. 4R all squared is 16R squared. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 squared is 576. This X squared we have it here to be 180 substitute it here 576 plus 180 is 756 so 16 r squared equal to 756 divide both sides by 16 here 16 cancels 16 while here 756 can be written as 189 times 4 4 into this 16 is 4 so r squared equal to 189 over 4 formula for calculating the area of a cycle is pi radius squared from this small cycle its radius is r so its area u is pi r squared r squared is 189 over 4 pi times 189 over 4 is 189 pi over 4 then this cycle its radius is 2r so its area is going to be pi times 2r all squared 2r all squared is 4r squared r squared is 189 over 4 pi times 4 times 189 is 756 pi substitute the values of v and u here 76 pi over 4 minus 189 pi over 4 is 567 pi over 4 so colored area equal to 567 pi over 4 meters squared. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.